Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I don't know if you can high five your neighbor and tell them amuka. Okay. I want you to turn to your neighbor. I know you guys follow instructions. Turn to your neighbor. I say turn to your neighbor. Turn. Turn your body towards your neighbor. Mushtue. You know, Jesus is coming. Yeah. And we are the body of Christ. Yes. And he says, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. I believe that Christians are, the, are, are, are people who need not to pray any selfish prayer. That their agenda should be the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And how to expand the kingdom of God. And so, because maybe today they only prayed that God give me money. God give me. Tell them your, your agenda should be kingdom. Preach to your neighbor and tell them, and all these other things shall be handed unto you. He won't give you, he leave you. Amen. As we seek first the kingdom of God and serve in this kingdom, God hands us everything else that we've been crying for. And so this song says, wake up all you sleeper. Let us serve this kingdom like never before. Amen. So when I say amo komete, you say amokai. Amo komete. Amo komete. Amukai means wake up. So tell your neighbor, Amuka. 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 Amukomete. Amukai. So what you do, I want a, a neighbor who has chukad here. Somebody. Kuja, 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 kuja. Hey, kuja. Nilikuwa nataka dada. Dada, kuja, 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 kuja. Just come. Do you get Kiswahili? Okay, let's go. When I say Amukomete, you shake your shoulders and stew your neighbor. Amukomete. Amukai. Like this, you, you look at me. Okay, we go. Hamu komete. Nishtue. Hamu komete. Hamu komete. Then you shake your shoulders. Hamu komete. Hamu komete. This is a social song. It's a social song. So you move from that neighbor to another neighbor. Not unless you're a snob. All the snobs can stand alone. It's okay. We will understand. But you're waking up your neighbor to tell them, now or never, go into the world. Let God's agenda be your agenda in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen Tony. Amen, Tony. Amo komete. Amo komete. Wamama wote wasema, Where are live people? Shout for Jesus. Men, you go like, woo, woo, woo. Where did you go? Where did you go? Turn to your neighbor. I'm 
Okay, I want you to follow this instruction. Move to someone that you've never talked to before and steward them in Jesus' name. Dance with somebody. Let's go. I say you move from your role. Come dancing. son he loves a fruitful son and a fruitful daughter amen, amen. and when we are saying nikupendeze on this song we are saying god may i please you with my life with my with my gifts may i activate my gifts to full potential to full you know full use in the name of jesus amen wangapo wanataka kumpendeza yesu sema nikupendeze yesu oh i want a well done faithful and good servant Oh, 
changu kiwe sawa na we Familia yangu marafiki zangu tuwe sawa na we Biashara sangu kila kitu changu kiwe sawa na we Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we have come to a very special time. We want to hear the word of God. And so before we can hear, I want to ask the ushers to bring those people who are outside. Because we came to be blessed. We didn't come to to have time outside, but we have time in the house of God. Amen. Amen. And before we welcome the man of God, I want to just a worship song as we usher in the servant of God. Oh, hallelujah. Lift your hands. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We will lift our hands in worship. Oh, we exalt your holy name. We will give you glory.
of God we give God praise and glory for everything that he is doing for us in this conference God is here to bless us I thought somebody would say amen. He does not gather his people for nothing. He gathers his people for his own purpose. Uh, this, uh, this afternoon, I want to uh, continue the subject that I handled uh, in the first day of the conference, I think it was, about honor. And We read Malachi chapter 1. And this is God 
speaking through his pro, uh, through his prophet Malachi. Mungu anaenena kupitia kwa nabii wake Malaki. So for the sake of those who were not here, we go to we're going to uh, touch what we, we where we began so that we can move to the next level. Kwa ajili ya wale hawakuemo tutagusa kidogo ili tukaweze kusonga mbele katika hatua nyingine. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 6. Malaki mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 6. He says a son honors his father and a servant is master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts. To you priests who despise my name, yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? Mwana humheshimu baba yake. Na mtumishi humcha bwana wake. Basi, kama mimi ni baba yenu, heshima yangu iko wapi? Na kama mimi na kama mimi ni bwana wenu, kicho changu kiwapi? Bwana wa heshima awauliza nyinyi, enyi makuhani mnao lidharau jina langu. You offer defiled food on my altar. But say, in what way have we defiled you? By saying, the table of the Lord is contemptible. Natoa chakula kilichotiwa unajisi, juu ya madhabau yangu. Nanyi mwasema, sisi tumekutia unajisi kwa jinsi gani? Kwa sababu mwasema, meza ya buwana ni kitu chakudharauliwa. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice, is it not evil? And when you offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer it then to your govern governor. Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably, says the Lord of hosts? Tena, mtu wapo sadaka alie kipofu, si vibaya. Na mtu wapo sadaka walio vilema na wagonjwa. Si vibaya haya mtolee liwali wako je atakuwa radhi nawe au atakubali nafsi yako asema bwana wa majeshi May the Lord bless the reading of his word Acha bwana libariki usomaji wa neno lake We're looking at the honor of fathers Tunaangalia heshima ya mababa and we begin with the honor of God as our Father. Because that's where we learn our true honor from. And Malachi is saying what God is saying to Israel at that time. Na malaki ananena kile ambacho mungu anasema kwa wa Israeli. He's telling the priests who receive the offerings from the people. Anawambia makuhani wanaopokea sadaka kutoka kwa watu. That what they are doing is evil. Because they take what is not honorable and they present it at the altar of God. And God is not happy. Because he is asking a question. Mana anauliza swali. If I am a father to you. Kama mimi ni baba kwenu. Where is my honor? Heshma yangu iwapi. And if I am a master. Na kama mimi ni buwana. 
if I am a master. Kama mimi ni bwana. Because we call God both. Maana Mungu yoaitwa yote. We call him a father. Twamuita baba. And we also call him master. Na twamuita bwana. He says where's my respect? Heshima yangu iwapi? And this is the beginning of dishonor in the house of God. Huu ni mwanzo wa kutokuwa na heshima nyumbani mwa Mungu. How we treat God. Jinsi tumchukuliavyo Mungu. Determines how we will treat those whom he has raised as fathers. Itaonyesha vile tutakavyowachukulia wale ambao wamewainua kama kina baba. Spiritual fathers. Mababa wa kiroho and biological fathers na baba wa kimwili the blessing of god baraka ya mungu comes to the sons who honor him hujilia wana wanaomheshimu that honor is true worship heshima ile ni kupitia kuabudu there is no worship without an offering Hakuna kuabudu kusipokuwa na sadaka. So we honor God with our offerings. Tumheshimu Mungu kwa sadaka zetu. How we give our offerings to God is a sign of our honor to God or dishonor. Jinsi tutoavyo sadaka zetu kwa Mungu yadhihirisha heshima au kutokuwa na heshima. And the priest received everything that the children of Israel brought in the house. Na kuhani alipokea vyote wana wa Israeli walioleta katika nyumba. They did not tell the people. Hawakuambia watu. That what you are doing is evil. Mfanyacho ni kiovu. Instead they said. Badala yake wakasema. There is nothing wrong. Hakuna uovu. There is nothing wrong. Hakuna makosa. And you know we can say it is the priest. Na wajua tuweza sema ni makuhani. But today, lakini leo, we do the same. Tuwafanya vile vile. In the house of God. Katika nyumba ya Mungu. I wish the offerings we bring in church were 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 like goats and sheep. Natamani sadaka tuziletazo nyumbani mwa Mungu leo zingekuwa kama mbuzi na kondoo. You would see what kind of offerings we give. Ungeona aina ya sadaka tuitoayo. But at that time, lakini wakati ule they had to bring living animals walileta wanyama waliokuwa hai and they brought those that were blind walileta waliokuwa vipofu those that were lame waliokuwa vilema those that were sick waliokuwa wagonjwa they brought to god wakamletea mungu what they did not need kile ambacho hawakuhitaji in other words the house of god kwa maneno mengine nyumba ya Mungu became a dumping place. Palikuwa ni mahali pa kutupa taka. Many years ago. Many years ago. Miaka mingi iliyopita. When I worked in the bank. Nilipofanya kazi kwenye benki as a cashier. Kama cashier. At part of my life in the bank I was a cashier. Ah, maisha yangu katika benki nilikuwa cashier. On Monday, Jumatatu was not a happy day for us haikuwa siku ya furaha kwetu because that is the day when the offering from the churches would be brought to the bank maana siku ile sadaka kutoka makanisani yangeletwa kwenye benki so if you see the pastor or the elder or the deacon who banks coming Umona, you, 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 you excuse yourself Umonapo mchungaji au shemazi au mzee anayeleta sadaka zile kuweka pale unastaka uondoke Because you are going to spend two hours Maana utakaa masaa mawili with one customer kwa mteja mmoja counting coins kwa hesabu mapeni So we We knew who banked for the church. And so we would avoid we would avoid. Tulijua hali ya kanisa na tungeanza kuzuia. It was 
it was a bad day for you if you are the one that were, was caught by the pastors or those who have brought money for the uh, and these are the same people who go to the supermarket so when we see the, 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 the cashiers from the supermarket bringing money we were very happy because they don't have coins. They don't have coins. They are bringing money. So what does that tell you? We are doing exactly what they did. In the house of God. Because we have not learned to honor. Mana hatuja e fahamu kuheshimu. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Mwambie jirani, jirani. That is the beginning. Huo ndio mwanzo. Honor is the beginning. Heshima ni mwanzo. Of your connection with God. Ya kunganika kwako na mungu. How you treat God. Jinsu mchukuliavyo mungu. You will treat other people like that. Utachukulia watu wengine vile vile. Now, the children, the children of Israel, Wana wa Israeli, we have gone far in their history. Let us go back to the beginning of their history. Tumeenda ndani katika historia yao, wacha tukoeze kurudi tupate kuangalia. When they became a nation, walipo fanyika taifa, coming out of Egypt, wakitoka misri, in Exodus chapter Exodus chapter 20. It is talking about the Ten Commandments. And in the Ten Commandments, one of the commandments says, it is in verse 12. Honor your father and your mother Uheshimu baba yako na mama yako that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Ili siku zako zipate kuwa nyingi katika nchi upewayo na Bwana Mungu wako. Moses tells the children of Israel Musa anawaambia wana wa Israeli to honor their father and their mother. Wawaheshimu baba zao na mama zao. For reason number 1 Sababu ya kwanza Long life Maisha maref That is a blessing that comes from honoring your father and your mother Hiyo ni baraka inaye kuja kwa kweshimu baba na mama Somebody say long life Mtu wa seme maisha maref Say I refuse Sema na kata To die a premature death Kufa kifo chakma pema a premature death Kifo cha mapema. can be caused by how you treat your biological parents. Chaweza sababishwa na vile unavyochukulia wazazi wako wa kimwili. Your mother, mama ako, and your father. Na babako. Sometimes when we grow up and live uh, the village and come to the city. And we leave our parents in the village. We come in the city and we are blessed materially. And we live in a nice home. And we don't feel uh, free to go and see our parents. Because of where they live. Am I talking to anybody? 
Huh? How many people know what I am talking about? Is true? So, we stay in the city and we send them what we don't need. Something little. We send them to buy food. We don't care where they sleep. We don't care how they live. And we are busy worshiping God and praising Jesus. Then we begin to be attacked by things to shorten our lives. Because of neglecting our parents. Sababu ya kuwadharau wazazi wetu. It is a great dishonor. Ni kutokuwa na heshima kukuu. To allow your mother Kuru, and your father. Kuruhusu baba na mama to live in a mad house. Waishi katika nyumba ya matope. That when it rains they have to move the bed. And find the place where the water is not pouring into the house. While you are living in a house that is paneled. That will shorten your life. Hiyo itafupisha maisha yako. Don't say amen to that. I am following my father. <laughs> he, he would say for that one, don't say amen. <laughs> that is something that is eating up people who are born again. Hicho ni kitu kinawala au kuamaliza wale waliozaliwa mara ya pili. And if you can mistreat your biological father. Na iwapo utakosa kuheshimu wazazi waliokuzaa. You can also mistreat your pastor. Unaweza pia kutomheshimu mchungaji wako. I want to show you where some some of the things you pastors are fighting where they are coming from. Nataka niwaonyesheni wachungaji baadhi ya vitu mnavyopambana navyo mahali vinatokezea. They come from foundations. Vyatokana na misingi of dishonor. Ya kutoheshimu. And these foundations na misingi hii must be broken tonight here in word explosion. Lazima ivunjike hapa katika mlipuko wa neno. Because kwa sababu if you don't honor your parents usipo waheshimu wazazi wako I am talking about your biological parents. Naongea juu ya wazazi wako wa kimwili. If you cannot do them good. Iwapo hutawatenda mema. If you don't care how they live. Haujali wanaishi namna gani? You will not care how your pastor lives. Hautajali mchungaji wako yuaishi namna gani? If you don't care what they eat. Iwapo haujali wanakula nini? You will not care what your pastor eats. Hautajali mchungaji wako yuala nini? So you pastors if you fail to teach your your members to take care of their parents, they will not take care of you. Basi nanyi wachungaji msipowafunza washirika kuwaheshimu wazazi wao pia hawatawaheshimu nyinyi. This was so critical. Hii ilikuwa ni swala nzito. That it was put in the law. Ambalo liliekwa katika sheria. And just before the children of Israel moved into the promised land. Na kabla wana wa Israeli waingie katika nchi ya hadi, Moses had to repeat it. Musa ilimbidi aregelee. It is in Deuteronomy chapter 5. Kumbukumbu la Torati 5. Put it up for me. Iweke hapo kwa ajili yangu. It says honor your father and your mother. Sema mheshimu baba na mamako. And they refer, he refers to the law. As the Lord your God has commanded you, commanded you where? 
in the Ten Commandments. Kama Bwana Mungu wako alivyokuamuru alikumuamuru wapi katika amri zile kumi. He is reminding them anawakumbusha that this was so critical ya kwamba hili lilikuwa la msingi mno that it was included in the Ten Commandments. Na kwamba liliingizwa katika amri zile kumi. And Moses reminds them na Musa anawakumbusha just before they walk, they go into the promised land kabla waingie katika nchi ya hadi one of the things that was in the 10 commandments moja wapo ya kile kilikuwa katika amri 10 he tells them when you do that your days may be long asema mfanyapo hivyo siku zenu zitakuwa nyingi and that you may be well that it may be well with you na mkaweze kufanikiwa it may be well with you ili iwe vyema nawe that means you may prosper. Humaanisha utafanikiwa. That means you may prosper. Maanisha utafanikiwa. Two things. Mambo mawili. It doesn't matter how long we teach them. Haijalishi ni muda gani mrefu tunawafunza. Without using this portion. Pasipo kutumia sehemu hii. We are teaching something that is not complete. Unafunza kitu ambacho hakija kamilika. Prosperity comes from two things. Ufanisi watokana na mambo mawili. It comes from your biological parents. Yatokana na, ba, na wazazi wakimwili. First it comes from God. Mwanzo yatoka kwa Mungu. Then from your biological parents. Kisha kwa wazazi wako wakimwili. Then from your spiritual parents. Kisha kwa mzazi wako wa kiroho. That's how prosperity comes. Hivyo ndivyo ufanisi ujavyo. You do well. Ukifanya vyema. You do well. Ufanya vyema. That it may be well with you. Iwe vyema nawe. In the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Katika inchi upewayo na Bwana Mungu wako. Moses is concerned. Musa anahusika. That if these this nation that has just been birthed comes into this good land that God is giving to them and fail to worship God and fail to honor their parents they will be exactly like other nations and let me tell you it is absolutely true how we worship God and how we honor our parents both spiritual and biological it determines how we will be it determines our prosperity it determines our our long life or short life it is something that is so critical and I and I want to correct it here before the leaders so that you can go and correct it in your congregation we are not called to bury the church is not an institution of burial it is a place of life but because there are some foundations that have been destroyed. Many churches are burying more than giving life. They are busy burying so and so has died, we bury so and so has died. And they say, oh, it's because there is a pandemic. No. There needs to be a protection. 
inastahili kuwe na ulinzi so that you can live a full span of life ili uishi maisha makamilifu we need to change some things tusahili kubadili mambo mengine so that we stop spending time that we are supposed to be preaching the gospel burying the dead ili usipoteze muda wa kuhubiri uzike watu how many people are with me wangapi wako nami you we don't take care of our parents. Hatujali wazazi wetu. And we don't take care of both our spiritual and our biological parents. Hatuwashuliki wazazi waliotuzaa na wazazi wale wa kiroho. We become vulnerable to anything that will shorten your life. Basi tunakuwa waadhiriwa na mambo yale ambayo yanakufupisha maisha yetu. And sickness is one. Magonjwa ni kimoja wapo. It is one great weapon of shortening people's lives. Ni silaha moja ambayo yafupisha maisha ya watu. We can live a 365 days of the year without sickness. Waweza ishi siku 360 pasipo kuwa na ugonjwa. It is possible. Yawezekana. The Bible tells us how. Biblia inatuambia njia hiyo. You become a worshipper of God. Ukifanyika mwabudu wa Mungu. You honor God. Unamheshimu Mungu. God will surround you. Mungu atakuzingira. Like he surrounded Job. Kama vile alivyomzingira Ayub. Until the devil told God. Hadi shetani akamwambia Mungu. Does Job fear you for nothing? Je, Ayub yakogopa bure? You will build a wall of protection around him. Umemjengea ukigo wa kumlinda. May the Lord build a wall of protection. Wacha Mungu akajenge ukuta wa ulinzi around you. You yako because you are a, a true worshipper of God, you fear the Lord. Maana wewe ni mwabudu halisi na una hofu Mungu. When you fear the Lord. Unapokuwa na hofu ya Mungu. You worship the Lord. Una mwabudu Mungu. Job feared the Lord. Ayubu alimhofu Mungu. Job even gave an offering. Ayubu akapeana sadaka for his children. Kwa watoto wake. In case they have done something that would shorten their lives. Iwapo labda wamefanya jambo la kufupisha maisha yao. He regularly gave an offering. Mara kwa mara alitoa sadaka. Because Job was a, was a he was a righteous man. Maana Ayubu alikuwa ni mwenye haki. And the devil na shetani could not reach Job. Hangemfikia Ayubu. No, there are some people when they get into trouble they say why oh, am getting into trouble like job <laughs> Kuna... god for god to allow trouble the devil to come and trouble you you must be very special kuna watu wengine wakiingia katika shida wanasema ah anapitia shida kama ayubu lakini nakwambia mungu akiruhusu shida zije kwako kama ayubu lazima uwe mtu ambaye ni makini sana you must you must be a, a serious worshiper lazima uwe mwabudu kamili Huh? So don't take at the, every trouble that comes your way it has come because I am like Job. Usichukulie kwamba kila shida ijapo basi ah imekuja kwa sababu hata Ayubu naye aliweza ali, kujaribiwa. God would not allow the devil to come your way because you are not ready. Sheta a Mungu hataruhusu shetani aje upande wako kwa sababu wewe haupo tayari. So you are being disturbed by small demons. The devil has never started working on you. Wewe wasumbuliwa na mapepo madogo madogo bado shetani hajaanza kazi. You you don't qualify for the devil to begin dealing with you. Haujahitimu shetani kwanza kukushughulikia. He he sends small demons. Anatuma mapepo madogo madogo. They are the ones that are disturbing you. Hao ndio wakusumbuao. suffering like job ah nateseka kama ayubu i don't think there is anybody here who qualifies for that simanisha kwamba kuna mtu hapa naye hitimu kwa hiyo we are dealing with demons twapambana na mapepo not the devil si shetani tell your neighbor neighbor mwambie jirani jirani we are dealing with demons twashupambana na mapepo 
when you grow up God will allow the devil utakapokuwa Mungu ataruhusu shetani but now lakini kwa sasa demons mapepo then the small ones yale madogo madogo the ones that are learning how to how to vex people wale ambao wana wanajifunza jinsi ya kusumbua watu worship us waabudu worship us waabudu when you worship god unapomwabudu mungu you will check the scriptures i say you will look into the word Uta, of god utaangalia maandiko to see how a, a man a woman of god is supposed to walk jinsi vile ambavyo mtu wa mungu anastahili kuenenda and from your biological parents kutokana na wazazi wako wa kimwili they give you a blessing wanakupa baraka of prosperity ya ufanisi and long life na maisha marefu when you honor them unapoheshimu what is this thing that we are calling honor ni kitu gani hiki twakiita heshima it is to do to share with them ni kushiriki na wao all the good things that the lord has given to you share vitu vyote vizuri ambavyo mungu amekujalia shiriki to share with them shiriki na wao not to give them something small share si kuapa kitu kidogo shiriki let me show you wacha nikuonyeshe go to the new testament because you will say oh Papa is always on the Old Testament. Let's go to the New Testament. Enda agano jipya usije ukasema papa kila wakati ni agano la kale. Galatians chapter 6. Wa Galatia mlango wa 6. Read it. It is up on the screen. Isome kwa 6 and verse 6. 6 mstari wa 6. 1 2 three, read. Read it again. Isome tena. When people in the church wakati watu kanisani want to give something to their pastor they say we want to bless our pastor. Wanataka wapatie kitu kwa mchungaji wanasema twataka tumbariki mchungaji tell your neighbor that is called ignorance mwambie mwenzio huo unaitwa kutojua you cannot bless your pastor hawezi kumbariki mchungaji wako and you cannot bless your mother na hawezi kumbariki mamako and you cannot bless your father na baba pia hawezi kumbariki they are the ones that have the ability to bless you wao ndio walio na uwezo wa kukubariki wewe Anyone who can bless can curse. Yeyote aliye na uwezo wa kubariki anaweza kalani. You can't curse your pastor. Hawezi kumlaani mchungaji wako. And because you can't curse them you can't bless them. Kwa sababu hawezi kumlaani vile vile hawezi ukambariki. Tell your neighbor Mwambie jirani wake up from your sleep Amka kutoka kwa usingizi wako The scriptures are clear Maandiko yako wazi It says let him who is taught the word Nasema wacha yule aliyefunzwa neno Share in all what Amshirikishe nini In all what Amshirikishe nini In all good things vitu vyote vyema in all good things vitu vyote vizuri not what you don't need si kile ambacho haukihitaji in all good things vyote vilivyo vizuri let him share wacha washiriki with those who teach them na wale wanaowafunza share in all good things washirikishe vitu vyote vizuri why kwa nini verse 
mstari wa 7 see they are stunned he says do not be deceived nasema usidanganyike god is not mungu hadhihakiwi we always start there huwa tuanza pale We want to tell people God is not mocked. We don't tell them how they mock God. How you treat the men and the women of God that teach you the word of God, it is either an honor to God or it is a mockery to God. you mock them unawadhihaki when you don't share wakati hawashirikishi because this thing about sharing is revelation swala hili ambalo la kushirikisha ni ufunuo if you don't have revelation kama hauna ufunuo you can never do this hawezi fanya hili and it is only an act of faith na ni tendo tu la imani It is an act of faith. Nitendo la imani. That is why it is connected to God. Ndio maana inashikanishwa na Mungu. It says do not be deceived God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. Nasema usidanganyike Mungu adhihakiwi chochote mtu apandacho ndicho atakachovuna. So when you share Unaposhiriki with those who teach you the word of God. Unaposhirikishwa na kufunza neno la Mungu. In all good things. Katika mazuri yote. It is like going to the shamba. Ni kama kwenda shambani and and find a very fertile ground. Na upate ardhi iliyo na rutuba nyingi. And take your seed. Chukue mbegu zako and plant it there. Na uzipande pale. Let me tell you. I don't think there is a more fertile ground. Than the, the ground of those who preach. To you the word of God. If they are not a good ground for you to sow, Kama then you are not supposed to be sitting under them. Kama wao si ardhi nzuri kwako wewe kupanda, haustahili kukaa chini yao. You need to look to look for a man of God who is truly a man of god wastahili kumtafuta mtu wa mungu ambaye kwa kweli ni mtu wa mungu whom you can honor ambaye utamheshimu whom you cannot backbite ambaye hawezi kumsengenya whom you will you will run when he speaks ambaye utakimbia anaponena when you hear the word of god usikiapo neno la mungu when you honor god unapomheshimu mungu you don't hear the word of god and the seat hausikii neno la mungu na kuketi you hear the word of god unasikia neno la mungu and you respond to the word of god in faith unaitikia lile neno kwa imani stagnation in the house of god ah kutulia katika nyumba ya bwana comes from people hearing and hearing and hearing and doing nothing kuna tokana na watu kusikia 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 na kutofanya loloti god speaking to us here in word explosion mungu ananena nasi hapa katika mlipo kwenye there are so many things amenena juu yetu kwa mambo mengi you must act lazima utende you must not just sit here si lazima ukae tu hapo you must believe what you have heard lazima uamini ulichosikia you must act on what you have heard utende kazi ulichosikia and then your story will change kisha historia yako itabadilika when you come back next year ujapo mwaka ujao you will come with a testimony utakuja na ushuhuda and a thanksgiving offering na sadaka ya shukrani to honor god kumheshimu mungu in the place where you received your meat mahali ambapo ulipokea neno lako Is anybody listening to me? Unaye mtu anayesikiza? You 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 cannot just sit. Hawezi endelea kukaa tu. You must hear the word. Usikize neno. And run with it. Na ukimbie nalo. Do something about Fanya what you are hearing. Fanya kitu kusikia kile umesikia. If you hear this word today. Usikiapo neno hili leo. And your father and mother is still alive. Na babako na mama wako hai. Are you listening to me? 
you leave this place and sit down and make a plan how you are going to change the life of your parents how you are going to make them happy how you are going to give them food to eat because it is only a man who has eaten from you that can bless you if your father only sees your car Kama babako, you are on a gari lako tu, and he eats nothing from you na hali chochote kutoka he kwako. cannot bless you Hata kubariki. he will not bless you because you are doing well Hata kubariki kwa sababu wafanya viema. he will be looking at the car and shaking his head Hata angalia gari ya tingishe kichwa. and say look at my son Asemi angalia mwanangu. look at this daughter of mine angalia uyu binti yangu. Look at how they live. Ebu angalia jinsi and look at how we are. Angalia vile That's a curse. Hiyo ni lana. It's already a curse. Hiyo tayari ni lana. I say it's already a curse. Asema ni tayari lana hiyo. Don't think about building a house for you in the village. Usifikirie kujenga nyumba kijijini. Change the living of your parents. Badilisha maisha ya wazazi. I guarantee Na kuhakikishia in one year mwaka mmoja you will look around utaangalia and you will wonder what has happened to you na utashangaa kumetendeka nini number 1 la mwanzo you will begin to look younger than you are right utaonekana now utaonekana mchanga kuliko vile ulivyo you you will begin to look younger utaanza kuonekana mchanga you will become stronger utaonekana mwenye nguvu you will become healthy utaonekana mwenye afya huh Make sure hakikisha that your parents wazazi wako eat well wanakula vyema when they eat your food wakila chakula chako your food chakula chako that you put on their table ambacho umeka mezani kwao as they are eating it wanapokula they may not even say anything wenda watanena jambo but when they swallow it lakini wamezapo they have already released something wameachilia kitu Have you understood the story of Jacob and his father? Ushawahi elewa hadithi ya Yakobo na babake? Jacob came and lied to his father. Alikuja akamdanganya babake. But the father ate Jacob's food. Lakini baba akala chakula cha Yakobo. And when he ate Jacob's food, alipokula chakula cha Yakobo, he was so happy. Alifurahia. Though he had a doubt. Ingawa alikuwa na shaka. The food chakula made him forget the doubt. Kilimfanya sahau zile shaka. And he released the blessing all of it. Na akachilia baraka zote to Jacob. Kwa Yakobo. A short time later. Muda mfupi tu. His brother comes. Ndugui anaingia. Carrying food. Anabeba mlo. But the man is already Isaac is already eaten and he is full. Lakini alikuwa shakula ameshiba. He said and who is it that was here? Akauliza nani aliyekuepo hapa? I'm no longer hungry. I've already eaten. Sioni njaa tena ni shakula. Is or said. Sawa akasema. Bless me also. Nibariki hata nami. The father said. Baba akasema. The one who came here Aliyekuja hapa and I ate his food. Nikala mlo wake. I blessed him. Nilimbariki. And it cannot be reversed. Na haiwezi geuzwa. When they eat your food, walapo mlo wako, they can't curse you. Hawezi kulaani. Even if they say nothing. Hata kama hawatatamka neno. That nothing is a blessing. Huko kutotamka ni baraka. blessing of God. Napenda baraka ya Mungu. And I love the blessing of my parents. Na napenda baraka ya wazazi wangu. 
my biological parents Zazi wangu wa kimwili went home to be with the Lord. Walienda nyumbani kuwa na Bwana. They are in heaven. Wamo mbinguni. But I have a spiritual father. Lakini ni naye baba wa kiroho. Huh? I have what? Nina nani? I have a spiritual father. Nina baba wa kiroho. My spiritual father Babangu wa kiroho eats hula food chakula. He eats food. Hula chakula. And I know he eats food. Na najua hula chakula. So I must make sure Kwa hivyo lazima nihakikishe that every month kila mwezi I put food naweka chakula on his table. Mezani pake. I cannot call him my father. Siwezi kumuita babangu. And walk in his blessing. Na nitembe katika baraka zake. When he is hungry. Wakati ananja. You say, oh, he has everything. Sema, na kila kitu. It is called ignorance. It is not him who needs the food. It is you who need the blessing. Tell your neighbor. It doesn't matter how rich your father is. He is not, he is not the one who needs the blessing. It is you. So ignorant preachers. Kutokujua. I said ignorant preachers. Kwa hivyo wale watu wasiojua wahubiri. Oh, samahani. Wahubiri wasiojua. They take the tithe. Wanachukua wana tithe. Wanachukua fungu kwa wale wanaotoa. Those who tithe. Kwa wale wanaotoa fungu lao. They take the tithe. Wanachukua lile fungu they put it in an envelope kwenye bahasha, and they take it to the same church where they preach. Na na pale pale so, Kwa hivyo, they eat wanakula, their tithe. Fungu lao. Ay, 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 ay. So, so actually Kwa hakika, they did not tithe. Hawakutoa fungu. They just took it back to the to the bag where they 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 got it from Wali, so that they can take it again. Wali regesha pale kwa ile mfuko walipoitoa ili tena wakaweze kuipokea. It takes revelation. Inachukua ufunuo for you to understand what to do. Wewe kuelewa kile cha kutenda. Your man of God is your spiritual cover. Mtumishi wa Mungu juu yako ndiye ulinzi wako wa kiroho. You didn't hear me. Let me say it again. Naregelea tena. Your man of God. Mtu wako wa Mungu carries your blessing. Anabeba baraka zako. And he will stay with the blessing if he eats nothing from you. Ataka na baraka zake iwapo hapati chochote kutoka kwako. This is why all the believers are supposed to bring the tithe wanastaili kuleta fungu zao into the house of God where they are fed from. Katika nyumba ya mungu mahali ambapo wanalishwa. And those who feed them na wale wanaolisha they take their own tithe wanachukua fungu lao like mine kama langu and they take it to the man who covers them na wanapeleka kwa yule mtu anayewafunika a spiritual cover a kufuniko chao cha kiroho so that he can bless them ili akawabariki amen i can't tithe here siwezi toa fungu hapa why kwa nini because i eat from here maana nala kutoka hapa so i will be eating my own tithe 
So if I eat my own time I am vulnerable Because I have not tithed Tell your neighbor, neighbor Your tithe Belongs to your spiritual covering All of it Yote. When you don't do that, you are mocking God. You are saying, I don't need him. I just need God. God says, I have already put an authority over you the moment you don't honor it then you don't honor me because it is me who gave you am I helping anybody is anybody getting helped so Galatians says God is not mocked Mungu hadhi hakiwi Whatever a man chochote mwanadamu apandacho they will also reap watavuna verse 8 stari wa nani for he who sows to his flesh will of his flesh reap what corruption anaye panda katika mwili naye atavuna uharibifu but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Verse 9. Read it. Let us not do what? Tusifanye nini? Let us not grow weary. Tusizimie roho. While we do Tunapofanya nini? Tunapofanya mema. Huh? Remember where it is coming from. Angalia mahali natokezea. Sharing with those who teach you the word of God in all good things. Kushirikishwa na kufundisha neno la Mungu katika vitu vyote vizuri. And the next verse it pushes it a notch higher. Na kifungu kinachofuatia kinapeleka kiwango juu. It says therefore as we have opportunity let us do good to who? Tupatapo to fursa who? tukafanye mema kwa nani? To who? To who? Kwa nani? Look at your neighbor tell them neighbor. Mwangalie jirani mwambie jirani. God blesses you. Mungu anakubariki. To be a blessing. Uwe wa baraka to others. Kwa wengine. Stinginess results to poverty. Uchoyo wazalisha umaskini. Stinginess opens the door to the devil to come and take what God has released to you as a blessing. Uchoyo unafungua mlango kwa shetani kuja na kuchukua kile ulichopewa kama baraka. Therefore as we have opportunity Kwa hivyo tupatapo nafasi ah, as there are needs utakavyo kuwa na mahitaji let us do good to all tukafanye mema kwa wote and it narrows it down a little bit it says especially to those who are of the household of inawalenga na kusema haswa kwa wale walio wa nyumba ya imani if we are truly walking with God, the church will look different. You will not be having a wardrobe full of clothes and there is a sister that sits next to you in church and she just changes today she was wearing this and the next day she wears the other. So you can also all the time tell what she will be wearing. Hatutakuwa na makabati amejaa nguo tele hivi kwamba tukiwa na dada mevango hii kesho namuona na unaweza kisio ukasema ni ipi tena tavalia Share your shoes 
Shirikisha mtu vyatu vyako. Share your clothes. Shirikishe au gawa nguo zako. Share your money. Gawanya hela zako. And if God blesses you with many things, share with all those many things. Na Mungu akikubariki na vitu vingi, wabariki au shirikisha hivyo vitu vingi pia. Now you cannot do that. Hawezi fanya hiyo. If you don't do it to God. Iwapo haufanyi kwa Mungu. So it begins with God. Kwa hivyo inaanza na Mungu. Then to your parents. Kisha kwa wazazi wako. Then to your spiritual authority. Kisha kwa mamlaka ya kiroho. Then to others. Kisha kwa wengine. Huh? That's why in the church of the apostles there was nobody who lacked. Ndio maana katika kanisa la mitume hapakuwa na mtu aliyekuwa na uhitaji. Why? Kwa nini? Because kwa sababu they shared. Waligawa they vitu vyao. all things in common. Walikuwa na vitu vyote shirika kwa pamoja. This time that we are living in. Nyakati tunazoishi. We are living in a time that we need to understand this principle. Tunaishi nyakati ambazo twastahili kuelewa kanuni hii. Because you are going to live world explosion. Maana utaondoka kwa mlipuko wa neno. And in one year. Na ndani ya mwaka mmoja. If you begin to practice this. Ukianza kutendea kazi hii. You will come back with a testimony. Utaregea na ushuhuda. You will come back with a testimony. Utaregea na ushuhuda. Pastors your churches are not poor. Wachungaji makanisa yenu si maskini. I don't care where your church is. Haijalishi kanisa lako liko wapi. Maybe in the deepest part of the village. Labda imo pale ndani ndani ya kijiji. Those members of chicken. Hao washirika wana kuku. And the chicken. Na kuku. They bear eggs. Hutaga mayai. Are you listening to me? Na They have got goats. Wana mbuzi. And those goats die. When there is just a little bit of a lack of rain, they die because you have not taught them how to protect what God has given to them. Na hao mbuzi hufa wakati ambapo mvua imekawia kwa sababu wewe hujawafunza jinsi ya kumtolea Mungu. And they cannot see an increase and a multiplication of what they have Na when, when they are not practicing true Christianity. Hawezi ona ongezeko ya kile ambacho walicho nacho wakati ambapo Kristo halisi haumo ndani yao. So the end result matokeo ya mwisho is lose lose. Kupoteza kupoteza. Huh? The church can't preach the gospel. Kanisa haliezubiri njili because we have no money. Hakuna hela. The people are not doing well. Watu hawafanyi vyema because even the little they get God blows it. Hata kidogo walicho nacho Mungu anapuliza. And those who are working. Na wale wanaofanya kazi. They only work. Wanafanya kazi. To put their wages. Kupata mshahara wao in pockets. Katika mifuko yao. Bank accounts. Katika accounti zao. That God has put holes in them. Ambazo Mungu ameka mashimo ndani yao. So it's a loose loose. Kwa hivyo ni kupoteza kupoteza. And we can we can be we can make it a win win situation. Na tuweze ifanye ikawa ni hali ya kushinda kushinda. When they bring what they are when they do what they are supposed to do. Wakifanya kile wanachostahili kufanya. The gospel will be will move forward. Injili itasonga mbele. The blessing of God will come upon them. Baraka za Mungu zitawajilia. And they will begin to prosper. Na wataanza kufanikiwa. They will begin to prosper. Wataanza kufanikiwa. This is not a prosperity message. Si ujumbe wa ufanisi huu. This is a, a message of honor. Ni ujumbe wa heshima. I say it's a message of honor. Ni ujumbe wa kuheshimu. You you don't honor somebody. Haumheshimu mtu. They cannot bless you. Ambao hawawezi kukubariki. If you don't honor your boss. Kama haumheshimu mkubwa wako. They will never promote you. Hawatakupatia cheo. Never. Haitawai. They will say you are big headed. Watasema wewe kichwa ngumu. They, they will say you you they will be looking for a way to to fire you. 
Watatafuta njia ya kukuondosha. But the moment you learn to honor. Lakini punde tu ugundua jinsi ya kuheshimu. The scripture is give honor to whom honor is due. Mandiko inasema heshima ipeanwe kwa yule anayestahili heshima. This is why I feel very bad when I see people people getting into Facebook and getting into all these social medias and they begin to speak with dishonor to people in authority na ndio maana mimi ushangaa na kustaajabu ninapoona watu mitandaoni wanaongea maneno yasiyo kwa na heshima kwa watu walio katika mamlaka some are speaking about pastors wengine wanaongea juu ya wachungaji leave pastors alone waacheni wachungaji peke yao even if they are not doing what they are supposed leave them alone hata kama wanafanya kile ambacho akistahili wewe waache don't touch the anointed of god be wise usiwaguse wapako mafuta wa bwana leave them alone achana na wao you didn't call them Haukuaita and they are not answerable to you na hawakupati wewe kutolea wewe hesabu ya maisha yao are you hearing me mnasikiliza So don't be so foolish that you are you see people commenting about a man of God and then you also join because it is in it is Facebook and there is freedom to say what you want to say you join there to throw your your word about a man of God that you don't know you you, you have no idea Usiwe mjinga unapo watu wanapoongea mambo kuhusu wachungaji nawe nawe unatoa maoni yako na kuongezea mambo pale hauelewi haya achana na wao Leave them alone Achana na wao God will deal with them Mungu atashughulika nao And he will deal with them seriously Atashughulika na wao sawa sawa More than your words in social media Kuliko maneno yako mtandaoni Those who teach wanaofundisha I want by God. Wanaonywa na Mungu. On how we conduct ourselves. Jinsi vile wanavyostahili kujichukulia. Our judgment is more severe. Ah hukumu iko kuu zaidi. But it does not you have no authority, you have no right Hauna to judge a person that is in authority. Hauna mamlaka wala ruhusa ya kutoa jambo juu ya mtu aliye mamlakani. You honor them. Waheshimu and if there is something that you don't like you shut your mouth na kama kuna kitu kingine upendi funga domo you do what nafanya nini and when you find people who are who are talking about it you walk away ukipata watu wanaongea juu ya hiyo enda kando it is called wisdom inaitwa hekima i say it is called wisdom inaitwa hekima god's people are destroyed watu wa mungu huharibiwa the little kids that thought it was they were just little kids and they saw the, the a, a prophet with without hair ah watoto wachanga walioona tu ni uchanga na wakaona nabii ambaye alikuwa ana upaa then they started chanting wakaanza kuimba nyimbo kiparangoto kiparangoto It was it was not in the bush. Haikuwa pale msituni. It was in the village. Ilikuwa vijijini. They were not in the wild. They were not in the game park. Hawakuwa katika mbuga ya wanyama. They were in the village. Walikuwa mjini au vijijini. You don't know what it is that ate them haujui kile kilichowamaliza what does the bible say biblia inasemaje huh what came and tell told them nini ilikuja kawamaliza what nini bears dumbu tena za kike Mm. They came zilikuja from nowhere. Haijulikani zilitokea wapi. And now because of the way we think we say all oh, this is unfair. 
Na sasa kwa vile tunavyofikiria tunasema hii si sawa hii. See they were just children. Hawa walikuwa ni watoto tu. They were just children innocent. Ni watoto tu wasiokuwa na lolote. And it is true. The prophet was like me. Ni kweli nabii alikuwa kama mimi. Huh? He had cleaned up his head like mine. Hicho kilikuwa kimesafishwa kama changu. And the kids are having fun. Na watoto wanajifurahishia. Parangoto. Iparangoto. God does not care about your fun. He cares about his anointed. Mungu hajali michezo yako na furaha zako, anajali ile upako wake. You touch the anointed, you will deal directly with him. Not not Gabriel not 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 one of the not one of the archangels you will deal with Jehovah himself Kimgusa mpako wa mafuta wake haukabiliani na Gabrieli wala mmoja wapo wa malaika ni Mungu yeye mwenyewe ana kwa ana And you honor what he has honored Na uheshimu ambaye amemheshimu The blessing will not come through an angel Baraka haziji kupitia malaika It will come directly from God. Zaja moja kwa moja toka kwa Mungu. It is called the blessing of the Lord. Inaitwa baraka ya Bwana. And it will make you rich. Na itakufanya uwe tajiri. And there will be no sorrow. Na hakutakuwa na majuto. It will be a blessing from the Lord. Itakuwa ni baraka kutoka kwa Bwana. You will acquire things. Ukipokea vitu. And enjoy them. Na utafifurahia. For a long time. Kwa muda mrefu. I say for a long time. Nasema kwa muda mrefu. I say for a long time. Nasema kwa muda mrefu. I say for a long time. Nasema kwa muda mrefu. Amen. So your parents. Wazazi wako. Spiritual. Wakiroho. I want to close. Nataka kutamatisha. Biological and spiritual. Wazazi wa kimwili na wa kiroho. They carry. Wanabeba. Your future. Hatma yako. Everything that God gives you. Vyote ambavyo mungu anavyo kupa. He gives you for the benefit of others. Anakupa ufaidishe na wengine. Even a spiritual blessing. Hata baraka ya kiroho. The anointing of God in our lives. Upako wa mungu maishani mwetu. Is not for us. Siku ajili yetu. All the anointing I have, what can I do with it? Upako nilio nao nita ufanyia nini? What do I need it for? Nina uhitaji kwa ajili gani? It is put in me. Umekwa kwangu. For your benefit. Kwa ajili ya manufaa yako. So if I use it wrongly. Ni itumi yapo kimakosa. I, 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 I cause trouble in heaven. Na sababisha shida kule mbinguni. But if I use it properly. Nikitumia vyema. I cause trouble in hell. Na sababisha shida jehanamu. This is why. Hii ndio sababu. We will not spare. Hatutaacha. Anything. Chochote. We will not tell you. Hatutakwambia. What you want to hear. Kila utakachokusikia. In word explosion. Katika mlipoko wa neno. We will not spare anything. Hatutaacha kitu. We will bring the oracles of God to you. Tutaleta mahusia ya Mungu kwako. So kwa that you become a man a woman of God. Ili uwe mtu kamili wa Mungu. Complete. Aliyekamilika. You leave this place. Utatoka mahali hapa. Go out there. Uende pale nje. Even when the devil has come to kill hata shetani ajapo kukua he sees fire anaona moto all around you umekuzingira he sees fire anaona moto all around you umekuzingira you walk like you are walking with god unatembea kana kwamba watembea na mungu when the servant of the, the, the servant of elisha comes out and he sees the armies all around the, the city is surrounded mtumishi elisha tokapo na onapo mji mzima umezingirwa The prophet didn't come out. Nabi hakutoka. The prophet didn't even care. Nabi hakujali. He rested inside. Alipumzika mle ndani. Akasema, those who are with us. Walio pande wetu. Ash. Hey. Those who are with us. Wale walio pande wetu. They are more than what you saw. Ni zaidi ya wale uliona. But the young man did not understand. Kijana huyu hakuelewa. 
So the prophet has to pray. He said, Lord, open his eyes. And the moment his spiritual eyes were opened, he saw chariots of fire all around Elisha. Is anybody hearing me? This is why you cannot touch the anointing. They are surrounded by chariots. And when you are, you are in the flesh, you cannot see the chariots. When you are in the flesh, you cannot see the chariots. You need revelation to understand that what God has anointed, He protects. And He protects it passionately. This is why if you take care of it, what they carry will take care of you. Ah. What they carry. So many people what wengi I have invited them to minister on this platform. Nimewakaribisha wahubiri katika madhabahu haya. Singers and preachers. Waimbaji na wahubiri. If you step on this platform. Ukanyagapo madhabahu haya. This one. He. There is a grace. Not for me. Kuna nema mbae haituwa kikwangu. Not for me. Si kwa ajili yangu. But for everyone. Lakini kwa kila moja who is connected to this altar. And the moment you step here, the anointing of this altar elevates you. It elevates you. It brings you to another level. When you take an offering and lay it on this altar, you are not giving to dead works. Jesus said, if you don't believe me, believe the works. If you don't believe the grace, you are not blind. Just look around. I say, just look around. I say, just look around. The evidence is there. And this is why for 29 years I have gathered preachers, pastors from every denomination. And I am supposed also to be a leader of of some pastors. As, but I have not I have not organized this Laki, for those pastors who are who are called JCC. Lakini sijapanga hii kwa wale wachungaji wana kwa mabano ambao ni wa JCC. Because I'm not religious. Mana mimi si wakidini. Who cares about religion? Ni nani anayejali kuhusu dini? Sijali. Welcome all of them and some of our pastors who are called JCC. JCC. Right now they are having a revival in their church. Really? In the month of April, my father has a conference. Babangu I, I can never plan anything for ever before si. I know when his meeting is on. Si. Because that week I cannot do anything. Si wezi pangilia chochote ndani ya mwezi huo akiwa yeye anakonga mano. Because it's not honor. Mana si pangilio muema. My father is gathering everybody and I am trying to gather my own people somewhere. I'm full of the devil or I am full of ignorance. I want to pray because there is no need 
for you to travel from wherever you came from we usafiri toke airport ulipotoka and miss ukose the grace neema of our lord jesus christ ya bwana wetu yesu christo because that grace kwa sababu neema hiyo is given in measures imepeanwa katika vipimo some people have got great grace wengine wana neema kuu some other people have a small droplet of grace wengine wana tone la neema because they are supposed to be under great grace maana wana staili kuwa chini ya neema kuu so that that little grace ili ile tone la neema looks like great grace ionekane neema kuu the children of the mighty wana wa wakuu they must be mighty lazima onekane wakuu they must do great things lazima wafanye mambo makuu so don't call me your father kwa hivyo usiniite baba if you don't honor me kama hauniheshimu i say don't call me your father lazima usiniite baba because you are causing a curse over yourself maana unaleta laana maishani mwako so when you call me father unitapo baba then basi behave that way kuwa na heshima hiyo or keep your mouth shut ama funge domo lako or keep your mouth ama ufunge mdomo wako amen amina this is a spiritual principle hii ni kanuni ya kiroho it's not religion si dini it's not religion si dini when i take my tithes nichukua hapo fungu langu to my father kwa babangu I am not playing games. I know what I am doing. Ninaelewa ninachokitenda. I'm to the grace of God. Naunganika na neema ya Mungu. That kept him preaching. Imeniweka kubiri. For 60 years. Saidi ya miaka 60. I don't want to die. Sitaki nife. Less years. Miaka michache. Less years. Miaka michache. My father. I need what he carries. Nataka nipokee anachokiweka. So I my time. Kwa hivyo anapeleka fungu langu piga magoti yangu to honor him it's not worship it's god honor si kuabudu ni heshima it's god honor inaitwa heshima and the grace that you honor na neema unayeheshimu i wish i wish everybody could get this natamani kila mmoja angepata hii we will have revival tungekuwa na uvuvio because you are already under a grace maana umo chini ya neema you leave this place carrying this grace unaondoka mahali hapo umebeba hii neema i guarantee na kuhakikishia no demon will ever play with you hakuna pepo atakuchezea they will know you they will know you watakujua don't say that at mungu mungu ame amenipeana kwa shetani You are not anywhere close to there. Hauko karibu na hapo wewe. You are dealing with demons. Unapambana na mapepo. Vitu vidogo vidogo. And they are they are giving you trouble. Na vinakupa shida. Because you are not truly under a spiritual cover. Maana kwa uhalisi haumo chini ya ufuniko wa kiroho. When you are under a spiritual cover. Ukiwa chini ya ufuniko wa kiroho. You honor that cover. Utaheshimu neema. Utaheshimu neema. When you honor that grace. Unapoheshimu neema. When you honor that grace. Unapoheshimu neema. Then that grace. Hiyo neema begins to work inaanza kufanya kazi against your enemies kinyume cha maadui wako it begins to work inaanza kufanya kazi for those who bless you kwa wale wanaokubariki it doesn't matter who it is haijalishi ni nani when they bless you wakikubariki this grace neema hii that you honor unaiheshimu begins to bless them inaanza kuwabariki when they curse you wanapolaani this grace hii neema turns that curse around inageuza hiyo laana this is why my sons must be greater than me ndio maana wanangu lazima wawe wakuu kuniliko do i have any sons here jeni nao wana hapa i have gone everywhere in the world preaching the gospel nimeenda kila mahali duniani nikihubiri injili some of the biggest conferences in the world 
Nobody has ever asked me of my CVs. Hakuna mtu ashaini uliza juu ya kanda zangu. But I hear some people say, "Oh, you know we need ordination because you they they will want your CV. Who is your father?" Unasema oh, tunataka ordination kwa sababu ndio tuchukue kanda. Na kuuliza babako ni nani? The gift of a man kipawa cha mtu will create room for him. Kitamtengenezea nafasi. It is the gift. Kipawa. Not a paper. Sio karatasi. Not a paper. Sio karatasi. You know, I, I get all kinds of funny things. Wajua napata vitu vya kiajabu ajabu. Sounds who know what I believe. Wana wanaojua ninachokiamini. They come to me they say papa Wana... you know I need an ordination. Wanakuja nakusema papa ile ibada kuwekwa wakfu nayo ni vipi? I say what? Nauliza nini? Go to those who ordained. Enda kwa wale wanaeka watu wakfu huko. Go and be ordained. Enda ukaweke wakfu huko. I release grace. Naachilia neema. I don't ordain. Mimi sifanyi hizo za kuweka wako. I am not a religious leader so where did I get authority to ordain people? Maana mimi sifanyi mambo au sarakasi za kidini basi hizo nizitoe wapi? Some of you preachers need to come and hear more. You need to come to the school. Wengine wahubiri mnastahili kuja na kusikia zaidi mje katika shule ya huduma. Some of you leaders. Viongozi wengine. You need to come to the school of ministry. Mnastahili kuja katika shule ya huduma. So that some of the things ili baadhi ya mambo mengine that are disturbing you vinavyokusumbua you may be cleansed. I tell your neighbor, neighbor. This grace. If it works for you. Your story is changed. Historia yako imebadilika. and Godwin Johnny Hapa. Yeah. Everybody who comes to this conference is not hii. invited by a committee. Na they are invited by me personally. Na mimi binasi. For me to invite you to come and minister here. Kwangu mimi kukaribisha kuja kuhudumu hapa. Nimekuchunguza. Sana. Kiro. Kiro. <laughs> Nimeka kwa maombi. Nikiuliza Bwana. What is in this young man? Ni nini kilicho ndani ya kijana huyu? I've never seen you. Sijai kuona. Pastor Kimeu come here. This man of God became a pastor in this church. I didn't even know his names. But I saw him. And I saw the heart. Because is for lifting people. And your place in the kingdom is not to entertain. It is not is not to sing a song that will become popular. Your place is a place of lifting worship. 
mahali pa kuinua katika nyumba ya Mungu never worry about anything from now usijali chochote kuanzia sasa worry about how you will take care of your family Usianga. how you will take care of your bills usiangalie utaangalia vipi madeni yako because the moment you have climbed here punde tu umepanda hapa You may not feel it. Wenda hautaihisi. You may not see it. Wenda huioni. But word explosion. Lakini mlipuko wa neno. God spoke to me. Mungu alinieneni. Not to a committee. Sio kamati. I invite the preachers. Nakaribisha wahubiri. And I invite every minister. Na nakaribisha wahubiri wote. And I check everybody. Na naangalia kila mtu. In the spirit and i see where their hearts are na naona pahali mioyo yao ilipo i beg you na wasihi take care of that grace that is in you tunzeni neema iliyo ndani yenu don't be like other christian gospel singers who are looking for money Usiwe let money look for you waimbaji wengine wa injili wanaotafuta pesa wakiimba pesa zitakutafuta it will look for you pesa zitakutafuta god will bless you mungu atakubariki i am saying what i'm saying sijui kwa nini nasema haya yote but you know lakini wajua pastor kimeo mchungaji kimeo your destiny hatma yako is greater than what is happening ni kuu kuliko vile unavyoona People may not even understand you because they know the physical kimeo Watu wenda hawaelewi kwa sababu wanamjua kimeo wanaemuona But what I saw Lakini kile nilichokiona When no preacher knew you Wakati hakuna muhubiri aliyekuwa When you were no platform no nothing Hukuwa na madhabahu wala chochote It is still in you Bado kimo ndani yako And this is why I told you to go to Nairobi Ndio maana nikakwambia wende Nairobi Because it is still in you Bana bado kimo ndani yako May the Lord cause it Wacha Mungu aisababishe To manifest in 2022 idhirike mwaka 2022 na mbili Masi you know I have known you since you were a small baby Masi nalikujua tangu ukiwa mtoto mchana I didn't call you here because your dad was and has been my friend for many years Sija kuita kwa sababu babako amekuwa rafiki kwangu miaka mingi. Something in me Masi. And it is going to become bigger. Itakuwa kikuu. It is going to become greater. Itakuwa kuu. God will give you spiritual songs. Mungu atakupa. God will release you. Mungu atakuachilia to heights of worship katika nyanja za kuabudu and there is no one who can match that grace na kuna wezae kufikia neema hiyo Jesus Jesus yes. let that anointing wacha upako huo Your heart is right. Moyo wako uko sawa. But you are young. Wewe mchanga. And you have some worries and concerns. Una shaka ulizo nazo. Hear me. You shall not worry about anything. Usitilie shaka juu ya jambo lolote. What you will eat, what you will wear, what you will drive, how you will take care of your family, you shall not worry. Utakunywa nini, utavaa nini, utashirikia jamii yako usiwe na wasiwasi. Kwanza nini? God. Mungu. God. Mungu has made you. Amefanya a special vessel. Machombo special.
the pastors here you need to get involved in the school to come for impartation I don't have to go through everything written here because I don't think I don't think that is important what is important is this in this conference, you have been told there is something called preparation. And that preparation begins by you being under a grace that is greater than yourself. If you are a pastor and you want to walk and under the canopy of this grace. I challenge you to invest a year to soak into the grace that I am talking about. If you are hearing the Lord speaking to you, run out from where you are and come and stand here. You may not even be a pastor. You may just be a preacher preaching. You may even be a deacon in a church somewhere and you feel like God wants you to do more than what you are doing. I don't have time. Rush quickly. Rush quickly. I say rush quickly. This school is now, it is, the main school is here. We, we, have, we, have, we have a chapter in Machakos. We have a chapter in Nairobi. Uh, and uh, soon we are having another chapter uh, in Kisumu. Kuna darasa sehemu za Machakos, Nairobi na hivi punde tutakuwa na eneo la Kisumu pia. I'm calling you here to pray for you. Na waiteni hapa ni waombe. So that ili kwamba you can go back kaweze kuregea and prepare yourself na ujiandae to be in the next class. Kuja kwa darasa litakalofuatia be in the next class. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming soon. So we don't have time to waste. Doing something which we could do in one year, it takes us 10 years to do what we should have done in one year. Kufanya vitu ambavyo tungivifanya kwa mwaka moja itugarimu miaka kumi badala ya mwaka moja. Didn't we have the, the brochures they need to get? Preparation is important. Lift your hands. Lord, I thank you for all these men and women Lord, they need an impartation. The spirit of faith to confront challenges of life. The spirit of prayer that they may stay in the presence of God until they hear clearly. Lord, they have come before you. Their hearts are crying. And if we need to do it and do it fast. Lord, 
provide for them. Open every door for them. Put them where they need to be. So that they can become what you have ordained for them to be. Take away everything that would hinder them from doing this. Because they have heard you. And that's why they have come. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name. All God's people shout a big amen. Now, before you go back, I want you to take a special offering. This is an offering to open for everything that you need for the school. Lay it on this altar before you go back. If you, if you need left your bag, I know sisters don't carry their money or your, your money is in your phone, you take an envelope and come and lay it here. This, this is Chukua pesa zako, najua dada watembei na pesa ziko pale kwa mfuko, na labda hauna pale kwa kwenye simu, chukua bahasha. And I want everybody to take an offering. Anataka kila moja, achukue sadaka yake. This is going to be food. Tell your neighbor food. Tell your neighbor food. Tell your neighbor food. We want to give an offering to feed the men of God that are laboring on this altar. A special offering. Sadaka specially. Buy them dinner. Wanunulie mankulia jioni. And their dinner is not 200 shillings, is not 100 shillings. Mlo wao si shilingi miambili wala shilingi miamoja. Just buy them dinner. Wanunulie mlo mzuri. What would you do if the, you met one of them and you wanted to give them a cup of tea? Ungefanyaje kama ungekutana na mmoja na wataka umulie kikombe cha chai. Take an envelope from the ashes. Chukua bahasha kutoka kwa mabawabu. And when you are ready, come and lay it on this altar. Ukiwa tayari njo, iweki hapa madabahuni. Do it honorably. Ifanye kwa heshima. Let the men of God. Wacha watu wa mungu eat from you. Wale kutoka kwako. I am giving you a very, very special this is not just an offering. I am giving you a special a special opportunity. Si utowaji wa kawaida huu, bali ni huu ni maalum special na fasi kursa na kupatia. I want you to apply what you have learned. Nataka utende kazi kile mbacho mesikia. Think about them. Wawazi. Share with them. Shiriki now. Take an envelope from the ashes. Ashes. Chukua bahasha kutoka kwa mabawabu. I want to put some food. Taka tuweke chakula. On the table for the servants of God who are laboring here. Mezani pa watumishu wa mungu wa naofanya kazi hapa. I cannot ask you to do what I will not do myself. So I must be a partaker. Yes, you are the Lord. Most Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are. Oh, Say it. Yes, you are the Lord. Oh, 
You will meet with the dean there and the, and the staff that are manning the desk. You can ask them questions. They will give you information that you need. Do it immediately. And the Lord is going to bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. This conference is very different. And we thank God that you are leaving this place to go and behave like you know Jesus is coming before you 